that concrete is actually an artificial stone. And for stone uh, construction, the natural geometry is the arch. That is why in times where uh, people still built with the constraints of a material, uh, for example, the Gothic master builders, uh, the, the masons of these spectacular cathedrals all over, uh, all over the world, they had to follow the natural geometry of these, of these materials. So that is actually what we are doing. We are reintroducing these natural materials. So we are basically reintroducing the arch, reintroducing curvature. And so that means that we place material exactly where it's needed. And by doing this, so instead of forcing this, this artificial stone to be a straight element, we give this natural stone its natural geometry, which is um, with uh, this uh, artificial stone, its natural geometry, which is the arch. And by doing that, we reduce the amount of concrete by 70% compared to your, your typical floor plate and the reinforcement steel by 90%, right? So these are, uh, and again, this is really not rocket science. This is something that, that it's just simple physics. And it's something that we absolutely know works because these beautiful cathedrals are still standing after 500 years, 1000 years, when you look at the Pantheon and so on, these structures are still standing because they have the right geometry for that material. And so once you start to see this, it, um, it, it sounds too good to be true, right? And that is kind of, uh, that is kind of um, why this seems to resonate and why this seems to now um, uh, be able to go forward.